Uh, Eamon, you you posted Ooh, this. You posted yeah, this on the Facebook. Um, of course, just a little bit of setup. We did uh, talk about, or we talked about before, we talked about last night on the uh, WWE Raw wrap up that we do here at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We had like a 30 second match, tag team match, Bellas against Emma and Paige. They had extended entrances, sat through a sting profile with Paige in the ring, and we got sat through, I also sat through like many like recap videos of other people's feuds right. throughout, the, throughout right. the show. And of course, and of course, the uh, hashtag "Give Truth a Chance" got hijacked by everybody and everything. And the biggest probably was "Give Divas a Chance." After that, poor, poor planning and and look that that we got out of that. Now, Eamon, you came across something that happened on the Twitters. I did. Uh, there's been a lot of talk. Uh, uh, the hashtag got got extremely popular. Uh, Throughout, you know, from the end of Monday Night Raw up until this morning, uh, it was one of the top uh, trends uh, worldwide. Uh, but uh, there hasn't been a lot of response from people actually within the company or people within wrestling uh, about it until probably about an hour ago uh, from uh, a certain missing in action diva uh, <laughs> named AJ Lee, who right. uh, had some things to say. Uh, these were actually in a response to a um, to a tweet that Stephanie McMahon sent out uh, during the Oscars. Uh, it's uh, I can't remember who the famous. I don't watch the Oscars. I don't follow. Well, here, uh, 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 but, uh, Patricia. Well, well, for those who don't know that side of it, and I only know this because everybody's been talking about it on podcasts since yesterday. Um, right, Patricia Arquette spoke out in her Oscar speech about uh, equal pay for people working in that industry, in the Hollywood industry, uh, after you know all this time in Hollywood, paying God knows what to people, and still women are lower waged and, and not as prominently featured in the ways that they probably should be in that yeah. industry. And gee, doesn't that sound like something like pro wrestling? And the tweet, that the, sounds a lot like pro the tweet originally is, thank you, uh, Pat, at Patty Arquette is her twi- Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, for having the courage to fight for hashtag women's rights on such a grand platform. Hashtag use your voice. Now, do you have the tweet in front of you here, Eamon? I do. Okay. Uh, and like I said, this was actually like literally about an hour ago. Uh, AJ tweeted Stephanie McMahon saying, quote, your female wrestlers have record selling merchandise and have starred in the highest rated segments on the show several times. And that's the first part of the tweet she follows. And yet they receive a fraction of the wages and screen time of the majority of the male roster. Hashtag use your voice. So, yeah, um, obviously, assumedly, things between AJ Lee and the WWE are probably pretty rocky at this point. Mm-hmm. Um based off of uh, the stuff that's happening with her husband currently. Um, Which is CM Punk, for those that don't know, who there's a lo- there is a lawsuit pending with the doctor from WWE and WWE putting on the front page the proof from WrestleMania that he didn't have staph infection, as he claimed. CM Punk butt. CM, CM Punk, Punk butt. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the gen. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah. <laughs> This is interesting because it goes beyond the whole idea of giving divas time or, or, you know, all that stuff, which I still firmly agree is an issue. But it's also for a fact that AJ is basically throwing out there that, you know, the whole idea of equal pay, uh, both from the fact that, uh, you know, divas are high merchandise sellers and they're in the highest rated segments on the show. That last part kind of sounds very similar to when we were talking about the TNA knockouts, not getting paid jack shit even though they were the highest rated segments of impact. The Divas champion getting caught at a, working at a sunglass hut. Yep. Not Divas. Yeah. Obviously, it's not that I think free, a, but... AJ? I, I think the big issue here is the fact that Stephanie McMahon is retweeting the user voice and, and retweeting the, the message of a Hollywood star doing a effectively her own public service announcement during her Oscar awards or her Oscar award acceptance speech. And then AJ calling her out on effectively the, the, the double standard here, like, Oh yeah, we really want to support women's rights. And then AJ goes, you're not actually doing that with your own people that you actually have the control and power over. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, and she's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, And you can see that. And one of the things I do appreciate about NXT is that, they are giving the women time. They're giving women storylines. The women's title in NXT 
they had a baller match at TakeOver. Mm -hmm. And that sort of thing, it, it, it plays into what they're doing on, it plays up to what they're doing on the main roster. But I think part of the issue is that I, I, I imagine the WWE would come back and say, we promote the hell out of a show that is just our female wrestlers on E, which none of our other wrestlers have. None of the male wrestlers have a, there's no like following dudes in spandex on E. But also, and, and I can't remember, um, I, I can't remember if we mentioned this. Could be a show on. Go I ahead. I can't remember ahead, if Amy. we had mentioned this before, but um, uh, a lot of stuff that's really spurring this conversation was a uh, comment made by the Bella Twins, actually, uh, from uh, Comic-Con in Indianapolis, where they talked about, I think someone asked him a question around those lines, and Brie Bella was like, yeah. You know, if I was on NXT, I wouldn't want to come up to the main roster because I get time up there. You know, and they basically said, "Really, you have a three-hour show and you can't give us more than three minutes." Mm -hmm. And that's that's one, the divas champion of the company currently, and two, the other person that's one of the more prominent women on the show right now, saying those kind of things. Right. Um, I, I think that really sticks out. And and that's the thing with this whole give divas a chance thing. It's not an issue of I I love, I think women's wrestling should be you know very prominent and and, it's, and the thing that people get behind. Um, but it's not an issue of models versus wrestlers. It's an issue of people who are on your roster that you are paying to do a job, giving them the opportunity to do that job to the best of their abilities. Right. And I'm sure that people like Natalia and Paige and Emma want that time just as much as people like the Bella Twins and Summer Rae and Naomi and Alicia Fox and all those people that weren't wrestlers going into it but have spent the time and done the bumps and done the training to be wrestlers. And, and to be fair, there there are points where, well, take the brass ring, do whatever. And I think in the case of, oh, geez, Trinity, Naomi. Naomi, yes. I got it right. I got it right the one week. Um and uh, and uh, Natty really doing that when they had their mixed tag match last week, and even you know what they're doing at ringside with the with the with the guys this week. Um, but you, then again, also how much time did they get in that mixed tag? That's right. But again, you don't have a top opportunity to grab the brass ring when you have thirty seconds. You know, and it's just, it's just, uh, and it's like, like I, I know there, this is, could be an isolated incident where something ran long and they're like, okay, do it in 30 seconds. Like maybe they just got the, do it in 30 really seconds, which, been an isolated could, incident. which could happen, which could have been the case in this case, but this is not an isolated incident. And it seems like they're always on the chopping block. If that is the case, the divas are always the first one to get the time state. And if, if it's a case that their time's being taken down, even yeah, they're always the ones that get their time taken down. I mean, and, and that's ridiculous. And I mean, like we see like on Total Divas, like Natty has her fans, you know, Bellas have their fans that come out to these signings. And I think about Jen Carlin's reaction when Gene Ambrose comes out for a whole minute last night. Right. Uh, how underserved are these fans? I guess they have Total Divas now, at least. But think, yeah. think of how many people are probably watching Total Divas that don't aren't regular professional wrestling fans. That's true, too. That maybe do look up to them. You know, I, I, I'm not someone that looks up to reality TV stars, but there are people like that out there that would want to see them wrestle and, and be these powerful people that they try to portray them as on the on the reality show. And then they turn into Raw and they get a 30 second match. Right, right. Hey, good point from the chat room. Actually, from Riz. He actually got his right name on here now. Uh, he says Nikki Bella has her earned her way up there, even though she is with Cena. She has been impressive for the entire year. Both the Bellas have. Right? Both you, the Bellas. You can't. I mean, I think. I think before this year, I would have just seen them as the model wrestlers, right? Um, and we would grown every time they came out for the longest, 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 longest time, right? Um, They've been in WWE for what, like eight years at this point. I mean, they were off for like a year because they had gotten released at one point and came back. But yeah, yeah. right. Um, they've earned their keep. Like I, 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 you know, 
certainly. And I have, I have a lot of respect for it. Then, and honestly. they're they're having the, the the merch numbers that they have is, is tremendous. It's tr- definitely tremendous. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, what is Paige Paige's you know what opportunities has Paige had since she's been up from NXT? Um, it feels like some of the commentary I've seen is like, oh, Paige grown, you know. Uh, but it's like no, Paige was having amazing matches, you know, mm-hmm. um, in, in in the takeovers in W in, in NXT in general when she was brought up, and then again, then what, you know. Same with Emma was was actually pretty impressive too. Um, it comes I'm, to an issue of focus. What happens when Charlotte comes up? I think that's going to be a true test because that is going to be the first girl that comes up, and not, not even the first girl. Paige was a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous NXT wrestler, and and what is she doing? Yeah, so, I'm going to say when Charlotte comes up, whatever happens is not going to make us happy. No, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hopeful wistful. that it's going to be anything good, and it's going to come to that point where it's going to be, oh no, they're coming to the main roster. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. it's gonna be well, we talked about that on the big question the other day like yeah. what what can they do to bring up nxt people and make them interesting you know right right i don't know we'll see we'll see but but that's the case is i think for women it's even harder mm-hmm. i i think for men you you have a, a bit more of a fighting chance you know i i hope i hope that we've brought a lot of insight being our um um big massive boner panel of <laughs> with uh, giant, of male with feminists we are um, obviously a very experienced i yeah i mean we know we know about the plight of the female and uh our yeah general yeah non diverse at all panel uh <laughs> 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 so but i mean it came up we had to talk about it so um so with that you know you know one thing i can talk about that i am uh an expert on is pizza we like the pizza around we here like pizza. we do like the pizza we like to be able to feed our guests here